Hey Gemini, this is Sunny, and this is your um, mid-monthly for August 2016. Hopefully you guys can have an awesome mid-month. Keep in mind that these are just general readings, and I may not talk about your situation nor make sense to you. It would be alright. Do check out your rising, your sun, and your moon signs because those signs may give you more clarity. And if you like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is always below. Now, from the energy, I feel like you guys maybe second guessing your motives or actions right now or you're doing this with somebody else somebody else is doing it with you I feel like there's a lot of second guessing um or you may be looking back and just asking what to do what do I do I don't know what to do there's a lot of questions you guys want answered but let me flip you guys' cards over and see what's going on. Oh, my babies. My little beautiful butterflies. You guys have no reason to be second guessing. I mean, maybe you do, but I mean, from the outside looking in, I, I feel like things are pretty cool. It's just you guys' mindset. There may be some issues with your solar plexus chakra. And you guys may be so wary to the point where you may be causing a lot of illusions um, to happen. Like your vision towards things may be a bit off. It's just like you're seeing what you... It's like you're expecting the, the freaking worst, to be honest. Do not do this. Yes, Asia. Why are you so chatty right now? Pretty girl. Um, I feel that you guys are going to gain some sort of recognition. You guys, your hard work will not go unnoticed, alright? I feel like beautiful blessings are truly heading your way. Some of you, you may want clarity or truth with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, and this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. If not those signs, I feel like this is somebody... Like, there is an emotional connection to this person may be intuitive. This person may be spiritual shit. Um, this person really makes you feel alive. And I feel like some of you, like, you may have water sign in your chart. And your intuitive side wants to get heard. Like, your dreams are very bizarre and vivid. And you may have a deeper connection to your emotions and you know the water side of you all right so it just depends upon what's going on in your chart but i feel that many of you you need to look forward stop looking back stop looking at what happened what could have happened what should have happened and just look at what can happen what will happen what i need to do to manifest things and make things happen you guys have so much power during this time that you truly need to be mindful of the things that you say beautiful time for law of attraction for you guys I feel like I'm hearing water park some of you may go to a water park uh, during this time maybe early September there may be some issues with crying maybe you need to release I feel like if you've been worried about money I feel like finances are going to pick up for some of you if you truly believe it and you speak things into existence um, some of you there may be talks of a promotion maybe you are going to be employee of the week month honey it, I mean it just depends I, I do see great things heading you guys this way um I feel like you need to be mindful of a two-sided person when it comes to love, though. Or you need to just understand that love has its ups and downs. It's not always going to be good and happy, you know. You know, you go through arguments, you go through, you know, the tension. But if it's meant to be, you have to be strong together. You have to work together and push through those hurdles and I feel like some of you may be going through a love-hate relationship with yourself you know like maybe the dark side of you is your worst enemy and you are having those self those self doubts you're having those fears and anxieties to the point where you feel sick please be cautious of your health for right now 
um, some of you may have some Capricorn in your chart or there's a connection with a Capricorn because I talked about health for my Capricorns, all right? And ironically, you guys, um, for the bottom card, you guys received the Queen of Pentacles. So that's very interesting. Um, I feel like opposites are going to attract and you can take that how you want to. Now, let's go to your love cards. So, you guys received true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And the clarifier card was the six of wands in reverse. So, I feel like you guys are looking for that true love. You're looking for, like, things to be good. Things to be perfect. But just know that perfection is very hard to achieve. To be honest. I mean, everybody has their view upon perfection. And, I mean, it is what it is. But... Just know that you cannot allow for your ego to be in the way. Funny, funny, because I kept talking about like your vision upon things maybe a bit off, and I kept thinking about the solar plexus chakra. And to me, the solar plexus chakra is tying into our ego, our willpower. So be careful of you wanting to control relationships, or you may be in a relationship with a controlling person. Okay, um. I feel like you need to do what's best for you. Some of you, there may be talks of breakups. All right. Some of you may be in karmic relationships where you're just on again, off again. Okay. Um, be a little bit careful of starting relationships with people who you work with. Um, because I'm seeing that that may be a bit odd and that may cause some tension. But many of you, you are looking for true love. And some of you may find true love. It just depends. It truly just depends. But I am picking up that some of you are going to find love in the oddest places. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys can enjoy yourself during this time. Please keep it positive. Keep your head up. And I'll be back for September. Bye.